So this is the exhibition Beads, Bombs, and Buffalo. And it's a collection of print media, printmaking, as well as drawing and some painting and uh, mixed media type of work that deals with life. Some of the themes that I'm working with in my artwork in this particular body of work relates to um, me growing up in Oklahoma on Comanche tribal lands in relationship to Fort Sill, which is Fort Sill is a, one of the largest field artillery training bases in the United States, in the continental United States. Uh, there's elements of animals, imagery, uh, horses, uh, buffalo, and um, birds that sort of move around, that sort of connected to his Native American he heritage. Uh, and then there's also the fact that he grew up very near um, a military site, and so some of that Im imagery is included as well. And because these were kind of childhood experiences, everything is kind of married in this kind of dream world um, where childhood memories kind of conflict and pile on top of each other and everything seems sort of mixed. And these artworks kind of have that element of uh, like a childhood dream or something. I think when I'm drawing and working on paper, I'm sort of letting my mind exercise. And I'm letting my mind exercise from memory and memory of childhood memories of maybe a story my grandmother told me or a story my grandfather told me about the owl, like the owl and its significance and symbolism within a cultural reference to Kiowa people. So I might start drawing the owl and then that shape turns into another story about my grandmother telling me not to go down and play by the creek because I might fall in the water. So all of a sudden water shapes start to come in and so it's like a mixture, it's like a mix of ideas that are triggered by memories, but also looking at objects. Like I have a large collection of her beadwork, and so I keep that around in my studio as a reference point to look at. Printmakers in general, but certainly John Hitchcock makes artwork for people to kind of pick up and take home. He uses abstraction. He uses a real kind of punk reference to like street art, um, and his imagery has a real kind of graphic, almost cartoon quality that um, like graffiti artists would use. Uh, but yet he has this sort of rich heritage and all of that comes together to demonstrate an artwork that is really kind of visually sophisticated but feels really like cool and cutting edge and also has elements of Native American tradition and it all kind of floats together in this really interesting, interesting way. The exhibit is called Be Beads, Bombs and Buffalo and it is uh, exhibited here in the Kastiker Gallery at uh, the Rodman Center for the Arts here at Ribbon College and will be open until December 9th.